We're moving up in the world. Got a different camera. <laughs> we'll see if maybe that helps us get some more videos up more consistently. It's worth a shot. Tomorrow's mission, because we're packing a day early, is to take the little girls on a field trip. They're gonna go to one of our, I call it local horse park, even though it's an hour and a half away. Anyway, they're gonna go play on a cross country course for their first time. Not being ridden, they're just going in hand. Gonna go kind of see how they deal with the atmosphere and all that fun stuff. Um, should, should be hopefully low key just taking a little stroll around a park basically. But before we do that, we've got to pack up all our goodies so we're ready for tomorrow. Been using the horse trailer as storage and moving van. Uh, and then it rained unexpectedly today where well, I had it open, which is great. So right now we've got to finish cleaning out the horse trailer. You know, the heater is where one of the horses needs to go. So you need to clean it all out, fill the hay bags, get everything set and ready to roll for in the morning. One of the really nice things about this trailer is it's made so that absolutely everything comes out. And if you have an emergency, it's really easy to drop. Like this is the breast bar where the horse's chest go. Um, you can pull it all out really simply. It's also good if you're going to use your trailer as a moving van because you can take it all out really easily. All right. Part of the goal of the new camera is that you get to do more point of view stuff. So we're gonna give the point of view stuff a shot. We've got the hay bags full. We've got everything arranged for how we want it for the two girls tomorrow. So the back of the trailer is set. Now we just need to get our equipment and we won't open the windows until we load in the morning because it's raining today even though it wasn't supposed to rain today. Hi, Beagle. You know, yes. Everybody's waiting for dinner ever so patiently. You ready to go on a field trip tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, you are. And you get to stay home. Sorry. You don't get to go tomorrow. Nope, no, you get to go tomorrow. That'll make Gremlin very sad. Okay, so. Since I've never taken the girls on anything like this before, I'm gonna take anything we think we might possibly need. We're gonna take a lunch line and I'm gonna take a helmet, but not this one. We're gonna take our lunging cavison. I'm gonna take this rope. Eric's gonna help me so we can take both girls out at the same time. And we're going to take our lunge whip. And maybe this short whip. So that might be handy. We're not going to do bridles. But I am going to take my helmet. Because safety is important. Make sure my gloves are in there. Because again, safety is important. And we're going to take Eric's helmet. He probably won't wear it. Better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. The front of the trailer is also a mess because I've been using it as a moving van and a storage place and not as a horse trailer. So forgive the mess, but it is what it is. Got our whips, helmet for Eric, helmet for me. Got a spare lead rope that lives in the trailer. That lead rope that's going. Lunging cavison, lunge line. Should probably add a spare halter when we get the grooming stuff. That, that should, we should do that. The girls don't have their own grooming kits yet. They've just been using my aisle grooming tools. So we're gonna gather those. Yes. Put them in a grooming box. Probably add the cookie box to the grooming box. 
because cookies are necessary. It'll give us more than what we need. And actually, I'm gonna grab cookies out of the feed room. Halter. Spare halter was the other thing I said I needed to take. That's not big enough for anybody. Actually, I'm not sure that I have a spare halter that's big enough for Icy because she's ginormous. I'll take this one and hope we don't need a spare halter. Actually, we'll take your mom's halter as a spare. Icy's got a big head. She wears an oversized halter. Yes, you do. I smell like cookies. <laughs> but I think in a pinch we can put this one on her. And really, you know, you should never need a spare halter, but... What's the motto of this video? <laughs> Better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That's really... That's life with horses. <laughs> okay. That should have everything they need. The ponies want a cookie tax because my hands smell like cookies. And I'm a softy, so they're gonna get a cookie tax. Again, sorry, the truck is a mess. We've been using it as a moving van and survey van most recently. So it's full of things it shouldn't be carrying. Hi, you guys are beggars. Treat. Ah, I see what's a treat. Treat. Yeah. Grandma always wants a treat. Treat. Good boy. We tell them that they're getting treats. That way, they don't look for them when we're not giving them that treats and you know, they're less likely to bite your hand off. They're also expectantly waiting for dinner at the moment. So we're gonna have a quick little side quest and we're gonna do dinner for the ponies. I've been soaking the alfalfa cubes so that they're kind of reconstituted and ready. And now it's time for their soybean meal. This is an excellent source of protein. It's got all the amino acids that they need in it. Believe it or not, I actually know what this weighs because we feed by weight, not by amount. And then it's summer right now, so we're doing all kinds of extras. Just started MSM on a couple for allergies for one, for happy joints for another. When I say just started, I mean like this is their second day of having any. Gremlin gets his magnesium. I'm actually not a big supplement person. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. We're doing supplements all over the place right now, but sometimes they need it. <coughs> Inhale that magnesium. Everybody's also getting electrolytes right now. Today is beautiful, but we've been having some really hot days where they just stand there and sweat. They're not getting a full dose of electrolytes but they're getting some just, just to keep, to keep salt in their system. On days when they stand there and sweat the whole day, they get a dose. And this is their multivitamin and mineral, kind of like Flintstones for ponies. And now, Everybody gets to eat. Are you excited? Do I need to be a cranky puss? Yeah. He does not like the MSM. He says it smells. But he eats it anyway. 
Any ice pants? You were kind of pig today. Yes, you were. Every day is a piggy day for Icy compared to these two. Gremlin and Beagle are so tidy. Yeah. We'll go feed the mares. I mean, two of these are mares too, but the, the older mares. Hi girls, you want dinner? Yeah, I thought you might. See that Bunny has flipped over her feed tub. And I can't reach that from outside the fence. Okay. In we go then. Pick up. These two eat the same thing, so even though they share some, it's not the end of the world. The main thing is that they get enough. You're nutter butters. Nutty needs lots of groceries at this point in her life. And Bunny just needs lots of groceries. She's not even remotely old, but she needs lots of food. Yes, you do. She's the one that, that had the, the fold this spring. And she's actually, she's actually recovering pretty well. Um, we didn't rebreed her. She needs to heal up inside a little bit more, but um, otherwise she's doing great. So hopefully, hopefully next year she can have a baby. Hey, done eating? So it's time to go outside. Hi. If you draw, I'll draw. No squeeze in the holes. Yum. Ugh. Birds are bad at pooping on you. Wait. Thank you. This is Gremlin. He's all boy. Sometimes gets a little full of himself. You're gonna be quiet. Thank you. Yes. Today was also his first day back in work in ages because we've been so busy. Yeah, but you were good. You were. Ah, 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 ah. No, no. Good. Good boy. He typically leaves with some exuberance so he can go talk to his lady friends. <laughs> You're gonna get shocked. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell him how important you are now? Good girls. Did you eat your dinner? Here, finish it up. You want to lick the plate? <laughs> yes, of course you do. Well, you don't today, huh? Okay. Still have water. You had dinner. I'm coming. They know the routine. Any eyes today. You do. You're a big lady. Come on, ice pants. Always have to clean up our doorstep. Yep. Come on, gotta pick a beagle.
No, you wait. All right. Thank you. I needed to be splattered. Move over. Good. Oh. Thank you. Hi, biggies. I see. Good girls. Everybody got their feet done yesterday, and they're a little ouchy on the gravel today. Eagle says, very ouchy, very ouchy on the gravel. And the pasture. Okay, Beagle, you're free. Hang on, Ice Pants. You gotta take your halter off. Good girl. Not a bad view, if I do say so myself. Not a bad view. I'll see you two in the morning. Bright and early. Bright and early. morning. Got the trailer ready to go. Gonna breakfast the ponies and then load up. Go bunny. Good nighty. Let's have breakfast. It's I'm too big. I don't see it. Step up. There you go. Good girl. Now you're stuck. This is I don't think so. Just wait. I see you. Will you go for a field trip? Okay. Poor Icy's got super goopy eyes today. Stop it. Okay. A nice pants. <sighs> yeah, Beagle. Beagle says exciting. Hey, pretty ants. 
see as we were walking. Okay. Good you could just, you know, hang out, eat some food. You prefer it if she would take a deep breath and like actually relax here. Exactly, I would too. That would be that would be the goal of the day. But she's not going to. Since I've got a little bit of you in me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I see. Smart yeah. The eagle says start box. Oh, I could start. What would you like me to start? <laughs> it's so good, Beagle. <laughs> She's so scared. <laughs> I'm sure I'll tell you six or seven times, but thank you so much for being willing to come because you're very good for her. Of a big, isn't it? Big? It's the littlest one we got. She was brave coming up to it. I'm not she sure was. I asked her. But yeah, that's that fine. Looking at it is totally okay. Well, easy, I see. <clears throat> you want to come up? She sure. <laughs> what a good girl. <laughs> All the way up. Stand on yourself. What a good girl. Yeah. What a good icy. Beagle. The cutest beagle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Count out the ditches. <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> oh, the the. <laughs> <laughs> if they're upset, I should be. She really does just want to be a supermodel. Oh, 
Hey, no squeaking. Oh, well, that could be exciting. She gets the full cross country experience. Oh, it's okay, Icy. Yeah, it's just a kid. Yeah, it's just a kid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, yeah. You're going to get your feet wet? I'm just going to walk on the outside. Yeah. My nice pants. Says, wait, what? What a good girl. It's water. What a good bee go. You can get your feet wet. Good girl. Yeah. Okay, um, we'll condense as much as possible. <laughs> We could certainly give it a shot. You're gonna get elbowed. You want to be <laughs> what a good girl. Yeah. Beagle went in. Come on. Good. Yep. Walk on. Ah, 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 ah. Good ice. I know. Would you be willing, since your feet are wet, would you walk her in? Uh, no, this is my horse. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Come on. I'd love it if you would go in without me having to go in, too. This is yet not happening. Come 
it's refreshing. Come on, icy pants. Come on. Puddles all the time. Yes. Come on. It says, but this is a big puddle. Come on. Good icy. Yep. Come on. I Thank you. Good. Yep. Walk on. Walk on. Come on. We don't do that. Good girl. Back. Yeah. Back. 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 Good girl. Come on. Let's go in the water. You want to do this? Because I don't. Yeah. I really don't. That goes to the way. So good girl. Little seed monsters have eaten any horses yet. Thank you so much, Amber. <laughs> what a good girl. Yeah. I know, I see. Don't hop on Eric when she comes through the water. Ooh. Bad move. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
squeaky. That's why I moved her off of here. <laughs> I made you pay attention this time. Another successful mission in the books. Back home, the girls are settled all back into their pasture. Uh, we came, we went, we saw, we did things. Everything went really well. Um, they both settled in, they hiked around, got introduced to some of the basic stuff and it was a great day. So mission complete and we'll see you next time. <laughs>